Al goes it, I'm Wills Maxwell, and this is What Did We Miss? This is the segment where I tell you the stories that WWAY did not. So please look them up somewhere else so your only source isn't a 20-something comedian who Googles things. Check out this oddly satisfying viral video. Millions of people have been watching this footage of glitter-covered jelly being sliced with a hot knife because it makes them feel relaxed. It's making me feel anxiety over lost jelly, but I can't help that. Laura Driscoll makes these videos to trigger Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response, or ASMR, for kind of short. ASMR describes a tingling feeling viewers can get on their skin. It creates positive feelings of euphoria or relaxation. These videos prompt ASMR to help people with sleep disorders. And oh, I'm sorry, I got distracted by the video. It's very effective. For a second, I thought I had spidey sense, but then I remembered that if I ever get bit by a radioactive spider, all I'll get is dead. A community in Montgomery, Alabama held a vigil to mourn a painful loss. This story shook me to my core, and I hesitate to mention it on this comedy segment, but it can't be ignored. On Wednesday, January 17th, a Taco Bell burned down. There were no casualties in the fire, unless you count the deep emotional support that can only come from cheap food late at night. The vigil started as a joke in a Facebook post. Then the town quickly realized that now wasn't the time for joking. It was the time for somber recollection. This is an especially tough loss because that Taco Bell was one of a few places open past midnight. That's really too sad. I, uh, I don't know where I'd be if I lost my favorite late night fast food joint. I mean, I'd be healthier, a few pounds lighter, probably more social, and I cannot think of anything that would make me more miserable. Let's cheer these guys up. Roll it. Ah, much better. Two flight attendants got married mid-flight in an impromptu wedding when one of their passengers offered to perform the ceremony. Tell me if this officiant looks familiar to you. They got married by the Pope. Do not ever try to tell this couple a story. They already have a better one up their sleeves. What's that? Your husband won the Nobel Prize by accident? That's nice. We got married by the Pope. Carlos Trufardi and Paula Podest had originally planned a wedding in February of 2010, but an earthquake caused the church to collapse on what would have been their wedding day. They had a civil service, but never had the chance to get their marriage recognized by the Catholic Church. The couple got to meet the Pope when he was on their plane and told them this story, and he then offered to perform a ceremony right then and there. That's when they grilled the Pope over his credentials, asked him how affiliated he was with the Catholic Church. Once they were satisfied with his answers, the Pope performed the first ever papal mid-flight ceremony. This just goes to show that the Pope is a kind, generous person who also needs ways to stay busy on a flight. If you're thinking, man, they got married by the Pope. What have I done today? Well, friend, you watched this. Roll it. Ah, much better. I'm Wills Maxwell, and that's what we missed.